all right hey everyone welcome back to another video and like we planned the apex triggers basics video is uploaded on december 1st today is december 2nd and we will be covering the first use case which is use case one the question says whenever a task is created set the priority to high right so based on whatever we have learned we'll be writing a trigger and we'll be performing this use case and trying to execute this one right so what's the object is in concern the very first thing the task is the object in concern right so whenever a task is created we want to perform something so the trigger we need to write for is the task object right now the next question would be what event do you want to tackle so here it is very clear that whenever the task is created which means whenever the insert event happens is when we want to do something right so it says whenever a task is created so let's go to our salesforce org let's open developer console and let's create the task trigger right so i'll just say file new apex trigger right i'll name it task trigger what object should i choose it should be the task trigger task object this one right here okay i'll say submit and now i have the trigger ready and i want to handle this scenario whenever a task is created set priority to high right this is our use case right yes so we need to do a field update okay and we need to do this on an on a creation scenario or rather an insert scenario so what's the first thing we will set our event uh, first of all so i'll say if trigger dot is insert and trigger dot is now here we need to take a decision whether we want to write this in the before context or the after context right now what are you trying to do you are trying to do a field update of the same object record that's being inserted in the transaction correct so what should you use should you use before or after if we go back to our slide where we took our decision or we understood how to decide decide before or after so it says use before triggers whenever you want to set some additional values to the record that's getting saved and that is precisely what we are doing here we want to set the priority to high every time a task record is created right so i want to go with the before context i hope you agree with me right so i'll simply say if trigger dot is insert and trigger dot is before i want to do do field update here all right so i'll save it and this saves up fine now i need to do, start doing my operation now what variable do i have in hand that contains my task record it is the trigger dot new variable right because trigger dot old is not available in the insert scenario trigger dot new will hold everything that i need so and this is a bulk trigger right every trigger is a bulk trigger so i have to deal it in a for loop in an iteration so i'll say for every task that is inside the trigger dot new variable let's first do something let's say system dot debug found task record all right let's save it okay and i if i'm keeping this debug log so that we can see what what record is coming into the transaction and what we want to do is we want to do task record dot prior priority equals high save all right now you might be wondering why am i not giving a dml statement or why am i not adding it to a list see you are on the before in insert context and on the before insert you can set additional values you can do that very well you don't have to write any database operations externally or uh, or as an extra you can just say task record dot priority equal to high and this will take care of your uh, 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 setting this field value to high because it's being set before it is being uh, saved to the database so it will take your value from here and then it will save it to the database so you don't have to do a database update insert separately makes sense cool this is all you had to do for this particular use case let's save it and let's test it out i'll go to the app launcher let's go to task let's open task let me set my debug log i should have it here down below and now let's create a new task okay so i'll just go ahead and say create follow up task which is also another another kind of task so i'll say assign to himanshu call status is fine priority is none okay i have to have a priority so let's just set it as normal okay for now and due date is tomorrow let's say okay and i'll say this is urgent 
Let me click on save what happens as soon as I save the record. I see that the priority is automatically set to high, right? Which means our trigger logic is working perfectly fine. And if I open this particular record, I see under the debug log that I reached the context wherein I found a task record, which means the code reached this in this for loop and it found one record, which is why it executed only once. You see the iteration only once, right? Because only one record came in. But if there were multiple records, it would set the priority for all of them to high. And did you see me writing any database commands like insert, update, nothing, right? I could have said, you know, update task record here. No, that's not needed and that's not a good practice, right? First of all, that's not needed. Second of all, it's not a good practice. Why not a good practice? Because you are inside a loop, right? And when you are inside loops, you can hit governor limits very easily when you are writing any kind of DML statements here. How many DML statements you get per transaction? You get 150 DML statements, right? How many SQL? You get 100 SQLs, right? So if you go beyond, beyond these limits, you get a limit exception. So it's better to avoid these updates here. You can do them outside, but do I have to do them outside in this context? No, because I'm on the before insert and when I'm on the before insert and if I want to update any fields for the same record, I can do that simply like this using the dot operator, okay? So that was all about use case one before insert on the task record setting the priority to high whenever the record is getting created cool all right i'll see you in the next use case bye